Hi, this is Chris. It's time to do another collage in Marguerite Miller's Collage Weekly Planner. This uh, week is uh, week 15. So, 10, 14, 15. And after I finish doing this collage, I'll show you the collages that I did the last few weeks for uh, March. So this week we have um, a postmark or cancellation mark. And I have this um, from England, 1973. A text or a quote. And I picked out this uh, text about the color yellow. Uh, lines. I haven't found any lines yet. This is also from Encyclopedia, so I got Encyclopedia. A piece of decorative napkin, and I have these napkins that I've torn out, and a name. And so I chose Provence, France as my name because I thought this napkin looked like it could be in Provence or perhaps Tuscany. Italy, either one. Then I also found a French stamp to go with Provence, so I might put the French stamp over that. So I think maybe when it comes to lines, I might just draw some lines around the elements. But another thing I'm thinking of is I always have trouble um, putting a napkin down with a glue stick. I don't think I want to do that. I think what I want to do is Mod Podge it. So I'll get myself some wax paper to protect the rest of my book. And we'll see how that works, Mod Podging in this book. Mod Podge, matte finish, and a mixing cup, and a water dish, and a brush. Okay, so I want to Put the sunflower up here, and it will show through a little bit. I think I'll tear a little bit of this off. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Jardinier. That I believe is a, a large jar for holding plants. I think I'll put that there. And I'll put Provence. Here we have the story of yellow. There's a little bit of napkin left over. So I'm thinking that's what I want to do there. I'll start with that little corner bit of napkin. So if you're doing this challenge, have you tried doing any Mod Podge in your book to see how that works? It's a great book for trying different things and learning new techniques.
map on this page looks like it might be French also. This is uh, printed on inkjet. I'm not sure if it's going to bleed, so I'm going to give this a quick um, spray of fixative. This is um, this is the fixative that I use. It's Krylon Low Odor Clear Matte Finish. This is from 1999. This has lasted me 20 years, and it's still. A third full. It never clogs up. It gives a nice uh, protective finish um, that you can rework. So I really like that. A bargain. So now this is protected. So it shouldn't smear. Now we just have to wait for that to dry. Now for um, lines, I'm going to do some drawing on here with watercolor pencils and see how that works. I'm not sure how that's going to work on a Mod Podge surface, but like I said, this is a good book for experimenting. I have just a small set here of Faber-Castell watercolor pencils. And the colors. So these will be my lines. not quite dry enough yet I think to do this. I think I'll take a break and let it dry just a little bit more. This feels dry enough. I'll take this off here. Continue um, adding some lines with my watercolor pencils. And I'm staying with the theme, color theme with the oranges and yellows. where there seems to be um, the glue didn't saturate the napkin, it's a little bit white, I can take some yellow and color in some of that so it blends a little bit more. Use 
use my water brush to blend this in. my hand to kind of control how much water is coming out of the brush and to clean the um, pigment off of it while I'm working on it. I could also use a paper towel, but for some reason I just like to wipe it on my hand. I might do a little more work on this tree here. It got kind of cut off on the napkin. It was on the fold of the napkin. I decided to use some watercolors on that and I brought the tree a little further up and I need to do a fairly dry watercolor to um, stick to the Mod Podge and I see some more little touch-ups I can do and then I'll show you the other collages that I've done this month last month Okay, my collage is finished. I like how the orange just um, makes it like such a bright, shiny day. I added uh, regular watercolors, uh, my Winsor & Newton watercolors, to bring this tree up past the edge of the napkin and up into the postmark. And I like how I can see the French map underneath the napkin. So my theme is Provence and my color is yellow and I have a postmark cancellation. I have a text. I have the lines going around everything. This is also encyclopedia. A piece of decorative napkin, two different napkins. And the bonus is a name, Provence. So now we'll go back to um, 
March, and let's see where we left off. My last video, I did this um, collage, which was week number 11. And my theme for that is boys will be boys, and the color is mud. So the next was week 12, and week 12 was do you ever order takeout? Use a takeout menu with other restaurant and food images and ephemera to make a collage. I don't often do takeout. Uh, my brother was visiting and so we went to a local restaurant and got fish and chips, which, which I have been wanting. I haven't had fish and chips in ages. And so I printed their um, menu out from their website. And it's called Jackpot Cafe. And this is their menu. And this was um, from a magazine. And this is a vintage ad. It was for a hot water heater or something like that. It says, where else can you find the comfort, convenience, and economy features of fish and chips? And here it says, whoever brought fish and chips together had no thought of the earth-shaking significance of his idea. So that was my homage to takeout. So week 13, my theme is cute and my color is yellow. And so there's a poem. I couldn't find a poem, so I wrote a haiku. Like a bright sun ray, the little bird brings a thrill with his yellow plumes. And this is a yellow warbler, and so I wrote out his name and his scientific name. And so that's the bird. A measurement, so I wrote out his measurement. He's three and a half inches tall. In life. Stitching, real drawn or stamped. Well, I have this um, digital of um, different kinds of machine decorative stitching. Repeated rubber stamping. Um, I didn't do that. I really didn't have a stamp and I didn't felt like it, it didn't need it. And the bonus, a portion of a used envelope. So this is the inside of a letter from a friend of mine. And that was my week 13. So week 14 from a magazine page and my theme is surprise and my color is pink and it called for a ribbon, a plant, a person in whichever form, splashes or splotches, sheet music, bonus, a piece of sewing pattern. So I was looking through my magazines and scraps and I found this picture of this lady and when I saw her I remembered this picture of a squirrel I had from another magazine and I thought that squirrel would just fit in her arms. So I put the squirrel in her arms and so the ribbon is around his neck, his little bow around his neck. It's from a vintage ad for uh, Needlecraft supplies. And the plant are all these plantings in this magazine picture here and these flowers and the flowers in her arms. A person is the lady. It's a painting called Girl with Flowers by Etienne Aldoffi Piot, Piot, 1825 to 1910. Splashes and splashes. Well, I, I didn't have very much success with that, so I ended up covering them up, but there are a few here on the edges and then sheet music in the background and a piece of sewing pattern which is right underneath everything else right here. And that was my collage for week number 14. And that brings us back to today, week number 15. So thanks for watching and have a great day collaging. Bye bye!